Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, today looks kind of different because I'm filming in another room. I got a lot of stuff going on out there, the, lo the washer, the dryer. Um, so it's just a lot of unwanted noise. So I figured I would kind of come into another room and do this. Um, so I wanted to show you guys what I got in my Ipsy bag for November. I am a, um, is it a member? I have a membership, I guess. Um, not sponsored, but I love it. I've been getting stuff from them on and off for probably close to eight years or so. Their stuff has um, definitely gotten better, so it's kind of cool if you want to subscribe, check it out, do it. So this is a cute little bag that everything came in. <clears throat> and every month you get a bag, so it's kind of fun. So I'm going to be using the stuff that they sent me. So it's going to be my first time trying it. I know what's in it because obviously I pulled it out of the bag. So this is called Clean Zero Cleansing Balm Original, and I believe it is um, a K-Beauty product. Um, obviously, I'm not going to use this one because it is a cleansing balm, but this is what you would use when you're removing your makeup or like your daily moisturizers, uh, sunblock if you don't wear makeup. You kind of go over that. It's like an oily cleansing balm. Wet it. You almost fight with water. Rinse it off and then you can go in with a face wash. So it's like a double, a two-step cleaning. Then they sent me Glow Recipe Banana Souffle Moisture Cream. So cute little deluxe size samples. This we're gonna use today. And I got the Tristeek Smudge Eye Pencil. So, and I'll tell you the prices if you guys wanna order it. I don't get anything from it, but. And this cool um, eyebrow pencil with a attached brush. It's by the brand Item and it's called Brow Chow Ultra Fine Brow Definer. So it's cute packaging. This is going to be the pencil. It's got that triangular shape to it. And then the brush on the other side. It, it's not a spoolie. Look at that. Oh, so cute. Oh, I can't wait to use this. Okay. So um, basic, basic makeup. I'm actually not feeling too well today, but I wanted to do this anyway. Um, just to kind of give you that not quick get ready, but quick get ready. So, plus I still have errands to run, like I don't, I don't get to just lay on the couch all day. Hopefully at some point this upcoming week I will, because I have some time off. And I hope to do nothing. So, let's see what this, if it smells like banana. It does not. <laughs> A little disappointed, it doesn't take about that much, might be too much, but. Ooh, it's got a nice gel gel cream consistency. I like it already. Hopefully it's not too expensive because I hate when I love something and then I'm like, oh, I'm not paying that much for that. Beautiful. Oh, that feels so good. Almost like I needed that hydration today. <clears throat> Excuse me. Dang it, it costs $39 for a 50 milliliter jar. Oh well, <laughs> not gonna get that. All right, so we'll go straight on that with my Too Faced Primed Poreless Primer. I've had this for so long, but it doesn't smell bad, doesn't irritate my skin, so on we go with it. <clears throat> okay, now I'm gonna go in with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Bronze Beige. I should honestly probably get rid of this because I've had it for so long, but again, it doesn't smell bad. So, why be wasteful? <clears throat> Plus, I don't share my stuff. Also, my Wet n Wild blender. I love this thing. I think it was like less than $5. I bought a Real Beauty blender once, and I think it lasted me maybe... Maybe a month before it started falling apart. I don't know if that was a bad batch. It's a sponge. How is it a bad batch? But I suppose while making it, you know, I don't know what happened. Has that happened to any of you? You bought an original The Beauty Blender and then it falls apart. It started like crumbling as I would like wash it. So I'm gonna go in with my old favorite. I don't know if they still make this, but I know this particular one, but Smashbox 
the strip and it was it's huge and it came with like this big fat kabuki brush so that you can kind of like bronze your body um one of the kids at my parents house dropped it and it shattered it used to be bronzer in the middle and then two gold highlighting strips on each side so i ended up smashing it and repressing it and this is what it looks like now will i ever get rid of it no i love it and it smells like coconut oh it's so good Just gonna kind of bronze around some some of you like to kind of go all over the face i don't because then what was the point of like foundation and all that for that i'll just do like a darker foundation shade i'm just doing the classic three that's the old um Technique from Bare Minerals. Do you remember Swirl Tap? It was Swirl Tap Buff. So that's how they would do it with their warmth. They would say to just do the three and the E on each side. Okay, that's enough of that. Now, it, it may not look like too much on the camera, but I'm definitely, it definitely bronzed me up a bit. Gave me some color. I was honestly feeling pale, like my nose is getting red, which means I'm gonna start like, I feel a cold coming on to be honest. So now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of cheek warmth. Uh, it's the MAC Sun Basque. I think I used this one before. This is the real techniques 001. I feel like this might be for foundation, but I'm kind of brain fogged right now, kind of cloudy. So sure it works, but then I'm also gonna take the same blush with my Real Techniques 200 brush. Yep, that's what I'm doing. And I actually do this a lot if I'm like in a rush. Don't get me wrong, I do leave the house without makeup. But I don't always like to. Just don't feel complete. Just a slight wash of color. And this, this blush actually has some sheen to it. So you get a little bit of highlight as well. Let me add a little more color to my cheeks. Even though I'm gonna wear a mask, right? What's the point? But I know it's there. All right, so this Tristique, um, it's Line Sharpen Smudge Eye Pencil and the shade is Santorini Black. It looks gray here. Oh no, it's black. So it's got this cute little sharpener at the end. Oh no, it's got a smudger at the end and then you pull that out and there's a sharpener, so. That's, that's a pretty nice little extra that they give you. I had a lipstick from them before. It was in the shade Chili. It was like the best red I've ever tried in my life. Um, the lipsticks are a little bit pricey, so I never repurchased it. It did also come in my Ipsy bag. And I'm just tight lining the waterline because I like, I just like that dark ring underneath the eyelashes. It makes them look like there's more. You guys can also do that to your hairline. Take a little bit, match your, get an eyeshadow that's matte, no sparkle, no shimmer, nothing. And kind of grab a sponge or like a, a very dense brush, kind of like this one, and dip it in there and just kind of push it into the hairline. And it, it gets on the scalp, but it makes it look thicker. Just a quick little trick. Uh, please don't get rained on because it might drip and then everyone will know your secret. 
You guys, this is soft enough that I think I might be able to skip the liquid liner today. Oh my God, that tickles so bad. All right, let's see. Slight baby wing. Oh, glides beautifully. See if this will work. Look at that. Oh man, I love it. Well, that's going in my everyday bag. Like I said, today's look is very basic. I even have my Uggs out. I'm gonna go get some Starbucks. Probably get some pumpkin spice latte. Actually, I'm not crazy about that. I love vanilla flavored coffee or um, coconut. You guessed it. I think I've used it. I'm going to set a record. I'm going to use it in like the most videos I can. <clears throat> I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Oh, that one's a little clumpy. Okay, done. Oh, I'm so excited about this. All right. Oh my goodness, this is so nice. Watch this be like another $29 product. Look at that. I am also working on my Harvard eyebrow, you know, Harvard Community College. No diss to community college because I went to community college, so please don't come for me. All right. Oh my goodness, that's so nice. It looks, my brows always look super dark on camera, like my natural ones do, but they're really not. I could, I wish I could get away without filling them in. Oh, this mini brush is lovely. Oh, that's so nice. God, whoever thought of this is a genius. Perfect. Love. Absolutely love. Love it. Love it. What's left to do but my lips? I always like to put lip balm first just throughout the entire process to keep my uh, lips nice and hydrated i'm gonna skip highlighter today because like i said i got errands to run i'm not feeling well Ooh. i love this color this is <laughs> this is copenhagen by NYX. It's the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner. I was using a different brand in this similar shade by Jordana. And I get it at Walgreens in the shade Cabaret. And I love it. It's just like the perfect burgundy. It's a twist up. It's a little bit darker than this one. Um, it's got more of a purple base or blue base, I guess, where this is more of a, like you can see the pink magenta in it. 
I just love it. Kind of dark for what I was going for, but uh, we're going to lighten that up with the liquid lipstick that also came in my Ipsy bag. It is by Jules Smith Beauty in the shade Namaste All Day. So this is what it looks like on its own. It's a very pretty, very pretty nude shade. Mm. Love, I love mixing colors. I am most likely going to give you guys a bonus um, Thanksgiving video this week because I am going to have some time off and I will be able to do that for you. It'll be a lot more glam than this. Hopefully I'll be feeling better by then. This little blemish is like making it look like a smear, but it's not. So that's it. Put on my little hat and head out and run my errands and get things done so I can come home and lay back down. I want you guys to have a great week. As always, be kind to each other. Think before you speak. Don't be hurtful. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Even if it's just one of you watching, thank you. Because that means I have at least one person's attention in there. Um... I'm going to try to link everything down below. I keep, I keep saying that and I keep forgetting to do it. So, sorry about that. I'm a bit of a scatterbrain. One day I'm going to take something. I'm going to rule the world and not forget anything. So, again, thank you so much. Have a wonderful week. Toodles.